Hello there, my name is Ingus from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be starting a new drive and that drive is manufactured by Mitsubishi. This drive has been around for quite some time and I have been fortunate enough to use this drive in quite a few applications and a couple of things i got to say, this drive has been reliable and very effective and very easy to use. Uh, there's going to be three videos about this drive. In the first video, we're going to be looking at everything about local mode, learning a little, about, uh, a little bit about the menu, a little about the parameters, what parameters are set, setting parameters into the motor, uh, motor parameters into the drive, and running some live tests and uh, looking into some input uh, outputs and terminals and how to wire up. In the second video, we're going to be looking at a remote mode. We're going to be running two wire mode. 3 wire mode and also we'll be using external potentiometer to control our frequency and in the third video we are going to be looking at running a drive in a multi-frequency mode where we change the speed with a click of a button and before we go ahead if you do like uh, what we do on this channel and would like to support us please click that subscribe button and that notification button because we are going to be uploading video on a weekly basis where you definitely me going to be learning all the time something new so uh, without further ado let's get to local mode so now the drive is set up let's have a look at the wiring let's zoom in first things we're going to look at is uh, we, this is a uh, 1.5 kilowatt single phase drive, so only needs a uh, live and a neutral. So li live will go in the a, in a, in a bottom down here, where it actually says L1 on here. And a neutral is also going to go accordingly, and it will say N on there. And three phases down here will go down to the motor and earth as well. So the next we're going to look at is the terminals. Uh, the terminal on there, we've got an internet connection down here. In here we have a frequency control uh, unit down here where you can control both current and volts. Uh, volts would be uh, 0 to 10 volts and current will be 4 to 20 milliamps. And this down here you have a little switch, the one that determines what is what are you using. This one down here is a little, little, little jumper down there which, uh, which you can change or you're using the source or a sink. This bank in here very rarely I use, but more or less for detecting the things. And then uh, if you ever get a drive that doesn't have this uh, unit, this part in here, which uh, which basically joins up the PC S1 uh, and S2, uh, your drive will just not work. So uh, make sure that that piece is in there. The one underneath, there are the relays, which are more of a, in a many, many uh, uh, relay outputs. In many cases, those things are used. When a drive folds out or anything like that, you can use that to, to send some sort of sig external signal somewhere else to let people know that the drive is being tripped. And uh, last but not least, these are all the inputs down here, and there's some outputs down here as well. We're going to uh, run through them. I'm going to be running, uh, running the remote mode in the next video. So that's the, all the connectable connections down here. Let's get the parameters. Oh, now that we've done that, let's have a look a bit of our inner front panel. Uh, let's look at the buttons down there. The run button will obviously start the drive in a local mode. It will just run. Stop button, uh, stop slash reset will stop. The, obviously, it's a stop. Self accelerate and uh, reset uh, the drive if it is in uh, error mode. If you click the mode, let's first have a look at that. If you click the mode, you enter the parameters, and from there on, you can change all the parameters. Uh, this is why the and to, to run around the parameters is pretty much this little wheel in front, just running around. That's what the mode is. And when you want to set the parameters, you just click set, change what you want to say, change and then click set and it will come out and jump straight to the next parameter and last and last but not least is the PU slash external button by clicking it you can jump uh, between external and uh, local uh, mode be, be aware that there's a parameter called, parameter number called 79 if that has been changed from zero to anything else it will not let you do that but by default that is a that 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 will always be on a zero. If you get a new drive, it will be on a zero. But if it's not on a zero, but uh, usually when you we will have it, we will do in a minute a full factory reset. Just run a factory reset to reset everything back to factory settings. And uh, we quickly have a look at it. You can uh, use the set button, jump between different things that you want to read out while the drive is running. Usually it sets on 
hertz. So uh, now that we understand a bit about the panel, a little bit of data down there, and uh, you can change the frequency. And because it's in a PU mode, you can change frequency in here, and when you click set, you will accept that frequency and uh, store it. So, uh, but we don't want to do that now. So. Uh, we, that needs to be changed because we need to change the parameters of how this motor is running and all the other bits that we need to enter into it so it is good to go so now that we have learned a little bit about the uh, front panel let's do the factory reset to do the factory reset click mode go backwards pass uh, zero then you can say pr.ch er and until you see all c basically all clear and then uh, click say change to one set and he has flash he starts flashing like that and he has performed full factory reset all parameters has been wiped and you return back to what the manual says basically a default and once you've done that uh, let's uh, set the remote, uh, mode mode no, we leave that we leave the we leave the screen now we're back to home again and we're gonna set up start setting up some parameters and first things we want to set up is the actual frequency how far we want the frequency to go when we use the dial as you can see now he's just going all the way to all the way to 120 and our motor is only 50 hertz so we don't want to do that so the first parameter we're going to change is maximum frequency and we're going to do that by clicking a mode going forwards parameter uh, one in parameter one click set change that all the way down to at least where are where we are in uk our our motors are running at 50 hertz so i would set mine at 50 hertz so when i try to adjust it it no longer goes back it goes above 50. so i click set for that one the next parameter we're gonna do is set the base frequency again we are in uk we are running everything at 50 hertz so that will be and is already set to that so it's got a three down there and the next parameter we're going to do and have a look at it is you don't have to do that uh, but if you do want uh, your drive to be having a bit of a different types of soft starts or, 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 or a slower stops it's an acceleration the acceleration that param parameter uh, let's just uh, let's just change that to that so that parameter will be seven and eight so we go on seven that sets in the five seconds. I usually leave mine at oop, one second. I'll do for right now, and I'll do the same thing to the acceleration. Change that to one second. Oh, and completely forgot that that you can uh, as well. Uh, go to parameter two. You can set your minimum frequency. At the moment, our minimum frequency is sitting at a zero. But if you want to change that to a different number, you're more than welcome to do that. Usually, you would do that when you don't want the frequency good to go below that number. So uh, you will usually change that. So uh, that you can do that in a parameter too. And the next parameter we're going to look at is uh, the one I think you probably would need in uh, for the uh, for the future. But we're more likely going to go back to it in the next video. It's parameter 15 where you can set up your uh, jog speed. At the moment, jog speed is down to 5 hertz. And if you do use your jog speed, and it's, it's, it's more or less goes for the individual machines. What would you use for jogs? Usually, what you're good for for lays and things like that, just to move things around. But we're not going to touch that. But this is where you can uh, set up that jog speed. And then from the, from, from this point of, uh, point on, there's hundreds and hundreds of parameters in in this drive that that, that can be changed used for all sorts of different applications but if you're really to, well, if you really want to run the drive just a bit just to get you moving that is all you really need to do and the next thing you need to do is edit uh, enter all uh, motor details into the drive otherwise drive doesn't really know what is he working with so to do that we need to start up it starts on the parameter 80 so in the parameter 80, we set in the first uh, first parameter 80, the first thing it wants to know, what is the motor's capacity, which are the kilowatts, you would say it would be 0.37, ooh, ooh, there we go, we set that one. The next parameter we're going to change, it will be a uh, number of motor poles, which is 81. 
A uh, number of where motor pulse is determined by motor speed, which you can find out on your data plate. It doesn't really tell you how many pulses it's got, it, it just only gives you RPM. And by knowing the RPM, you can really find out what uh, uh, poles, uh, how many poles the motor is. Like two poles would be running roughly about 3000 RPM, four poles would be running by uh, 1500 RPM, and so on. So my motor is running literally 1500 RPM, so I know that I have four pole motor. So we're going to change that to four poles. And the next parameter we're going to do is a 82, and 82 is a motor uh, motor current. Uh, so uh, you can find that again on that, uh, the basic motor rate of current. You can find that on the data plate, on my data plate. So look at what I've got is 1.98 amps. So I'm just going to go down all the way to 1.98 amps. That's a hell of a lot of big number in there. So let's just go quickly. Oop. Uh, 1.9 will do. Setting that one. And the last, but, uh, but uh, oh, no, there's two more to do. And then the motor rated voltage. We need to do that. So uh, let's set that one more time. So that's 83. A voltage on my motor, we are going to be running this on 220 volts, so I'll just change that one to 220. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here we go. I said that one, that's what I'm going to be running my motor. Uh, three phases, 220 volts. And then the last but not least is rated motor uh, frequency. In UK, we run motors at 50. So let's see what it shows up. In's already got, got 50 in there. Bye. Doing this, we have entered the motor data into the drive. So now drive knows what he's dealing with, what he's running, and he's pretty much ready to go in local mode. And the only thing is left to do now is actually running it. So let's click run. And off you go. Change it. If you want to change the speed and things like that, just use the wheel and press set. The motor is running. So, by the change the train speed, it's a little wheel in the front in here. And my acceleration, the acceleration starts at one second, so it jumps to actual speeds quite quickly. And every time, to whatever speed you stopped the drive uh, last, it will uh, remember that one. So if you would click, click the stop, it will go stop, and if you do the run again, It'll go back to the speed it was doing the last time. That will be pretty much it when it comes down to a uh, local mode for this uh, series of the drive. Hope you liked the video. Hope all, <coughs> all of it makes sense. If you don't, definitely leave a, leave a comment below and then and, and, and definitely ask us a question. I'll be quite happy to answer anything you, 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 you've got questions about. And uh, if you liked the video, please like and it greatly supports the channel and uh, next video we are going to be looking at how to run this in a remote mode thank you for watching and see you next video